play Gruel Turf, and trigger the Great Worm. Make 100,000 tap Power Stone tokens. Good game? This might be what you hear when the game ends, but what's actually going on behind the scenes? Welcome back to Better Know a Combo, brought to you by the Spike Feeders and Game Genic. Today's combo has been around since Kodama was previewed, but there's a new piece we just got in the Brothers War, which came out on November 18th, so now's a great time to talk about it. Sarinth Great Worm is a 7-6 worm with trample for 4 red-green that reads, Whenever a land enters the battlefield, create a tapped Power Stone token. This type of ability that creates a token whenever a land enters the battlefield is always going to be busted with Kodama of the East Tree. So let's talk about why that is. Kodama is a 6-6 spirit with reach for 4 green-green that reads, Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't put onto the battlefield with this ability, you may put a permanent card with equal or lesser mana value from your hand onto the battlefield. Step by step, here's how it works. With Kodama and the Great Worm in play, I'll play Gruel Turf as my land for turn. This triggers both creatures and the Gruel Turf's own ability. I'll resolve the Gruel Turf's ability first, bouncing it to my hand, then the Great Worm's ability. When the Great Worm trigger resolves, it'll create a tapped Power Stone token under my control, triggering Kodama again. When this trigger resolves, it'll allow me to put a permanent from my hand into play. I'll choose the Gruel Turf. I can continue this process of putting the Gruel Turf onto the battlefield with Kodama's ability, bouncing it back to my hand, and making a tapped Power Stone token as many times as I want. This allows me to put the game away with Reckless Fireweaver, or mill everyone out with Grinding Station. I can also add an Amulet of Vigor to untap the Power Stones as they enter, which gives me access to infinite colorless mana. This is also going to give me a ton of landfall triggers, so something like Cozy's Ravager can get real scary real quick. This sounds awesome, but how can people interact? Let's take a look at the combo and talk about the ways you can interact at the times you receive priority. With Kodama and the Great Worm in play, I'll play Gruel Turf as my land for turn. This is a special game action, so you won't get priority until all three of my triggers are on the stack. I'll pass priority in an attempt to resolve Gruel Turf's bounce ability. At this point, you can remove either creature or the land, or you can stifle the bounce ability stranding Gruel Turf on the battlefield. When the bounce ability resolves, I'll return the Gruel Turf to my hand to try and resolve the Great Worm's ability. You've got one more opportunity to remove either creature, and this ability can also be stifled. You can also cast Dress Down or Sudden Spoiling to remove the creature's ability before the first Power Stone is created. It's not a permanent solution, but it might buy you a turn. When the Great Worm's ability resolves, I create a tapped Power Stone token and trigger Kodama's ability again. If you've got removal, you should have used it by now, but you do have one more opportunity to do it before I'm done with my first iteration of the loop. The last step is to resolve the Kodama ability, putting the Gruel Turf back into play. Essentially, I'm using the Kodama to repeatedly trigger the Sarinth Great Worm, and using the Power Stone tokens that the Sarinth Great Worm creates to trigger Kodama. You might see this combo executed with Tireless Tracker, or even a copy of Kodama, but the fundamentals of interaction are the same. You get priority while all the pieces are in play, so use that opportunity to remove one or all of them. But what if you're not playing reactive spells like that? How can we shut them down? This ability relies on the Gruel Turf bouncing itself. You can remove that ability using Blood Moon, Blood Sun, or Toxicrine. If any of these are in play, the Gruel Turf will lose its bounce ability before it even enters, and it'll never trigger. Similarly, Humility will remove the ETB triggers from Kodama and the Great Worm, so they won't trigger at all when the Gruel Turf enters the battlefield. That just about does it for this episode of Better Know a Combo. Leave a like if you haven't already, and if you've got a combo you want to see explained, make sure you let me know in the comments below. We'll catch you next time.